Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Commander Hall. Hopefully you guys is having a great day. Uh, I just finished giving the Crown Vic a bath and now I'm heading to help my buddy out um, at that fair. And um, that's it guys. But uh, real quick guys, I just want to give you guys a quick update on um, my current situation. Uh, I know I released a few videos back to back um, about my situation with the um, with the job not paying me and all that kind of stuff or whatever well guys uh i have more information concerning that job uh well guys this morning um of course like i told you guys this whole week i'm going out on foot i'm handing out flyers or whatever and um prior to me doing that this morning i picked up the phone i tried to call the commander uh, one last time i tried to call the captain one last time um obviously i wasn't able to get a hold of either one of them so um i started digging deeper and doing some more research and i was able to get the owner of the company uh phone number he was kind of surprised on how i got it but i was able to get his phone number and uh, me and him had a conversation i told him that i was one of his employees and uh that i haven't got paid um and he was kind of like confused like what you mean you didn't get paid i said sir i didn't get paid i told him that commander such and such normally uh issue my issue me my paycheck and this week I haven't heard from him I've been trying to contact him for the last two weeks and he was like I don't know anyone by that name so when he said that fraud start coming in my mind like oh crap you know did I get played you know is this guy going by a different name or what you know so he reassured me he said there is no one in my company that goes by that name so he got off the phone with me and he said, let me call you back in about five or 10 minutes. He called me back and he was like, yeah, no one has that name. I was like, hmm. He said, can you give me a description of the guy, the commander guy? And I was like, sure. So I gave him a description and he was like, are you talking about commander such and such? I said, yeah, that's him. He was like, oh, he don't go by that name. He go by his first name, not his last name. I was like, oh, okay. I said, well, there we go. He was like, uh, fortunately, he's no longer employed with the company. I said, oh, really? I said, what about Captain such and such? And he was like, he's no longer employed with the company either. And I was like, well, that explains it. He was like, yeah, neither one of them work with us anymore. And he said, I apologize that you didn't get paid or whatever. He said, I have another guy filling that role for now. Um, but he said, yeah, neither one of them is employed with the company anymore. I was like, okay. I said, well, can I ask you something else? I said, well, on Google, it's showing that you guys are permanently closed. He was like, oh no. He said, we just relocated and we never updated our new address on Google. That's why I'm saying that. I said, oh, okay. I said, well, you might want to get that taken care of. And he laughed or whatever. And uh, he was like, well, uh, I apologize. He said, matter of fact, I'm looking at your check right now. He said, we have your check here. I was like, okay, cool, perfect. I said, well, can I come pick it up? He said, sure. He said, what time do you want to you know, come get it? I said, I'll come now. He was like, okay, cool. Well, yeah, your check is here. Your check is ready to go. So, um... He said, do you know um, Lieutenant such and such? And I was like, no, sir, never heard of him, don't know him. He said, well, um, he's gonna, he gonna be your new go-to guy now. You know, he's in charge now, whatever. And I was like, okay, cool. He was like, he'll be calling you here shortly. I said, okay. So I got off the phone with him. Uh, the new guy who's in charge, he uh, contacted me. Uh, he was very apologetic about everything. He said that he pretty much was just like thrown into that position that with the commander leaving it just kind of threw everyone off no one saw it coming he just left you know so um now he's going back and he's like collecting the pieces and trying to put everything together so i was like okay cool i said i understand i said well fortunately i said i left him a voicemail on his phone i guess that's not his phone anymore but i said fortunately i left him a voicemail that i was no longer going to be working for you guys he was like what he said is there anything that i can do to fix that i said well oh uh, yeah it's a couple of things and he was like okay you know hit me with it so i told him that you know i wanted to work less days and i wanted more money he was like well let me see what i can do so uh we hung up he called me back he was like um hey man i got you some more money and um i got it approved for you to only work you know x amount of days i said perfect i said well is it any way that you can send me some kind of document or something in writing you know, so I have proof on my end. I said, not that I don't believe you, but I like to have documents. I like to have proof. He was like, no problem. He said, let me see if I can get what I can get with HR to send you, you know, whatever you need. So he, he got my email and um, maybe an hour later, they sent me some documents about the pay increase or whatever and my new schedule, which would be five days instead of six. So um, 
I was like, cool, no problem. So, uh, to sum it all up, guys, uh, things wasn't what I thought. You know, it was a complete mix up. You know, they had people quit in a company and it would have been nice if they would have reached out to me and let me know that, you know, cause I was panicking, you know, but that wasn't the case. Uh, now we got everything squared away. Uh, right now, um, my company is, you know, still seeking contracts. So in the meantime, I'm gonna continue to work with them. Um, it's good to have an income coming in and the job isn't gonna interfere with my business at all uh, for the simple fact that I'm still freed up all day. You know, I work for that company at night. So um, I can still do what I need to do throughout the day uh, for my own business or whatever. And, um, you know, once things start to really pick up and I start to get more contracts and everything, then, you know, I will be uh, permanently moving on from that company. So um, I just want to give you guys a quick update on that situation. Please like, please subscribe to the channel, leave in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.